polite expressions of dislike, using not a fan of and not into. Hello, English learners. Welcome back to another lesson. Today, we're going to dive into the nuanced world of expressing dislikes politely. We'll focus on the phrases, not a fan of, and not into. More importantly, we'll learn how body language and tone of voice can play a significant role in conveying politeness while expressing dislikes. Remember, it's not just what you say, but how you say it. First, let's look at the phrases, not a fan of, and not into. Both are polite ways of saying you don't like something or don't enjoy participating in an activity. I'm not a fan of spicy food, for instance, or I'm not into rock climbing. The beauty of these phrases lies in their subtlety. They allow us to express our dislikes without sounding too negative or harsh. Moving on to our next topic, your tone of voice. When expressing a dislike, even if you're using a polite phrase, the way you speak can drastically alter the message's perceived politeness. Aim for a neutral or friendly tone. Avoid sounding dismissive or overly negative. For example, compare, I'm not a fan of that, said with a harsh tone, to, I'm not really a fan of that, spoken softly. The second sounds far less confrontational, right? The way we physically present ourselves, our body language, can be just as telling as our words. When expressing a dislike, try to maintain open, relaxed body language. Avoid crossing your arms or frowning, as this can seem defensive or hostile. Even when saying something as mild as, I'm not really into golf, a smile and relaxed posture can make the sentiment seem friendlier and more approachable. It's now time to practice. Try using these phrases with a partner and pay attention to your tone of voice and body language. Let's role play some scenarios. Imagine you're at a party, at work, or talking to a friend. It's all about balancing honesty about your dislikes with respect and consideration for others' preferences. So there you have it. That's our lesson on using not a fan of, and not into, along with the correct tone of voice and body language to politely express dislikes. Remember, effective communication often lies in the subtleties. Use these techniques to express your dislikes politely, respecting both your feelings and those of the person you're speaking to. Until next time, keep practicing, and stay curious. Happy learning!